the MV22 Osprey, the product of nearly 30 years of designing, researching, and testing. It's an airplane that can take off and land like a helicopter, and is the aircraft the Marine Corps has been waiting for. For the pilots, it's a dream to fly. It's a great aircraft. As an autopilot, it has uh, systems and computers that, that monitor everything and give you a lot of updated information so that we can better manage our missions. Compared to the CH-46 C-9 helicopter, the Osprey can fly twice as fast at two and a half times the altitude, carry three times the payload, and has six times the range. To put it into perspective, during Operation Tomodachi in 2011, it took the CH-46's days to reach northern Japan, while during Operation Damayan in 2013, the Ospreys arrived in the Philippines mere hours after they left Okinawa. The Osprey is different from other aircraft because it has the vertical landing and takeoff abilities of a helicopter and the speed and range of an airplane. It has the unique capabilities thanks to these nacelles that can stand vertically at 90 degrees, rotate horizontally to zero degrees. Nacelles are cover housings that hold the Osprey's engines, two 6,150 horsepower Allison Rolls-Royce turboshaft engines. The ability of the nacelles to move are why the Osprey is called a tilt rotor aircraft. The Osprey has three modes, vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, airplane, and conversion. The Osprey can transition between airplane and VTOL modes by gradually tilting the nacelles while it's still moving forward. This can take as little as 15 seconds, but conversion mode allows the Osprey to fly with the nacelles at any angle between 0 and 90. And how exactly does the Osprey fly in these different modes? It's all a matter of physics. In airplane mode, the Osprey uses its 84-foot wings to create lift like a fixed-winged aircraft. It moves forward through the air, which produces low pressure above the wing and high pressure below the wing. When in VTOL mode, the 34-foot rotors create the same kind of lift as the wings do, but because they spin, the aircraft doesn't have to move forward, which allows it to hover. If the nacelles are at an angle, the production of lift is split between the wing and the rotors. In fact, the pilot is the one who controls the tilting of the nacelles, and all with just the flick of his thumb. The Osprey operates on a fly-by-wire system, which means that its controls are digital. When the pilot moves the controls, the movements are converted into signals that the aircraft's computer reads. The computer then makes the necessary adjustments, allowing for a safer and smoother flight. The fly-by-wire system that the Osprey employs is a triple redundant system, which means if one system goes down, another is ready to pick up the slack. In fact, the Osprey has several other redundant systems, including radios, navigation equipment, flight instruments, and even hydraulics. There are even two pilots in case one should become unable to fly the plane. The engines were likewise created with safety in mind. The engines are located inside each nacelle, and while they are connected to the rotor attached to the nacelle, they are also connected to a drive shaft. This drive shaft connects both engines to both rotors, meaning that even if one engine goes down, both propellers will keep spinning and the Osprey will stay in the air. The Osprey has been replacing the CH-46s since 2007 and has been employed safely in operations and exercises in Korea, Brunei, Philippines, and elsewhere in Asia, as well as the rest of the world. It has over 150,000 operational flight hours and has proven itself in combat and humanitarian assistance operations. With the Ospreys in Okinawa, they're going to be able to provide increased range to the PACOM area of operations. And what that's going to do is let us respond more quickly to disasters in the region and to do a better job of promoting peace and stability through the operations that we do with our other host countries and uh, alliance partners. To recap, the Osprey is faster, can carry more weight, act as both a helicopter and an airplane, has several triple redundant systems, and already has more than 150,000 operational flight hours. It is safe, reliable, and a great asset to the Marine Corps and its allies. The Osprey, truly an alliance capability.